welcome back guys so last time we were able to register a user we sent them an email so if you can see we have the email here now the next step is to go ahead and activate the user's account so when the user clicks here notice what happened so it's telling us that there is an error that's because it can't find the login view so we are going to go ahead and create it just so we can have something to show to render so before we to redirect to the login we need to first have the view to to handle that so login view so this this of course will render a template and the gate will take in only the request okay so now render it takes in a request first then now we can say authentication slash login okay so we need to create the template actually it should be dot html login dot html should be created so right here i'm going to create it it already exists okay anyway so if it exists then that's good if we go to our view which is here we need to register the login the login in the urls so right here i'm going to copy register move it down a bit then replace this with login so login we also need to get the view it should be login view then we need to replace it here and we are done so if now we come back from our from our email you should be able to see that oh there's an issue let's look at it so here in our python cannot import login okay so we messed up something so this should be verification view so if we reload it you can see that we are sent to the login url which is what we want which is good okay so right now we've redirected to the, to the login but we haven't ideally activated the user account so now when we come in here and do user find Christry and then try to see user dot is underscore active you can see that it's false so we need a way to turn it to true so right now when we come to the, the view first thing we're going to do is try to get uh, the uid so the uid we are going to get it from here so last time we imported something called force bytes so this kind of makes it in a way that it can be transferred secure over network we need to turn it back into human readable format using force text so to do that right here i'm going to say id equals equals force text so we are going to force text on url base 64 decode of course now we want to decode back this one okay so this should give us back our url so we need to run this in a try catch because a lot of things can go wrong here so we just have try accept block then everything should be run in a, in a try and accept okay, so right here okay so here we get the id now we need to query for the user so now we can do user equals user dot objects dot get so right here i'm going to catch all exceptions so right here i'm going to catch exception as e doesn't matter so now we want to get it by id so pk equals id okay so now now that we get the user here we need to check if their token is still valid so meaning that if they haven't used it more than once so earlier you know we set up this class so this class actually can be able to tell us that what was generated before has changed so for example if we activate a user we activate a user and then try to use the link again user is active will have changed and of course the timestamps will have changed now that we have the user we need to check if the user was not like activated before we can do if user if user dot is active then of course we know actually here we know that the user is already active so we can now send them to the login route without having to make a call to a db to activate again so if they are not then we can do user dot is active equals true and then we do user dot save if you don't want to redirect a user from here and maybe you want to send them to a page where you tell them the link is invalid so for example here yeah, you, you can do this check so you can do if not user 
actually we need to use our class which i think we called account activation token so if not account activation token dot check token so now we need to give it a token which we got here in the request but first we need to pass it a user too so you pass it a user who we already got here so pass user then pass the token so if this returns false, then that would mean that the user has already used the link. You might as well redirect them to the login and telling them that the account is already activated. So the way you do that now, if you want to like send out like a, a more information, you can actually concatenate normally. So you can do something like this, so class, then you can add like a query string, then you can add like a message equals, equals then you can add maybe user, already activated okay so something like this either way if there is an error we can handle it they accept then everything is good if they have already activated we take them to the login if they activate then we want to give them a message of course and then redirect them so right here we can say messages with success then we pass a request and now we can say account activated successfully okay all right so once you have that i need to spell this correctly it's double s okay so once you have that now you can redirect so let's redirect here and then test it out so right now you can see that my is active is false so i'm going to use the link and then see see how what, how it will behave so right here we expect it to come here decode get a to get an id query for the user check if the user is already activated and then if the user is activated then tell us and otherwise it should redirect to the the login if the user is not active then it can activate them and then take us to the login with a success message okay so let's see hopefully this goes well so if we go to our email and click on the link again you can see that we get email account activated successfully so if you come back here query for the same user and then run it's active you can see that now it's true so that's what we wanted to do and i think we have achieved it if we try to use the link again let's go okay you can see that we are still redirected to the login but of course we don't have the other message okay so that will do it here if the video helped you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel just so you can keep in the loop I will see you guys in the next video where we implement the login.